What's up everybody? Kevin here with Almost Anglers Fishing and as you may know Nick and I work in the boating industry so that allows us to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into the boating world and I'm on my way to northern Indiana right now to the 2023 Bennington Dealer Show trying to give all of you a little bit of a insider look at what might be coming for the next model year with Bennington Pontoons. I had to leave Nick back home and I've got about a nine and a half hour drive ahead of me so let's hit the road. We finally arrived here in Syracuse, Indiana at the beautiful Lake Wawasee. It's been a long drive, so I'm going to run inside, check into my room here at the Oakwood Resort. It's a wonderful place to stay, get a good night's rest because tomorrow we're reviewing all of the new features for Bennington. Can't wait! After a good night's sleep, it's the next morning here at Lake Wawasee. Lots of cool boats here behind me. We're going to go take a couple of rides, show you some of the boats, and then I'll be back later to talk to you about the features on 2023 models.
and we begin our tour on the ever popular R series. This is extremely popular in our area of the country. It is the start of Bennington's ultra luxury brand line. The first boat that we're on here is the center walkthrough, characterized, of course, by the unimpeded walkthrough of the center of the boat uh, without any tables or captain's chairs in the way, and further characterized by these rear facing loungers. A slight bit of a design difference in the 2023 model year for Bennington. These rear facing loungers are extremely popular, especially with the women in the group, uh, and they love that center walkthrough boat. Second, we go on to our R Fastback. This boat features great sounding speakers and rear firing lights at the back of the boat. This particular model does have the upgraded sport interior. You can signify that, of course, where it says sport right there by your arms, but furthermore by that Bennington wing crest and the diamond pressed and diamond stitched upholstery. This is really a sharp boat. You can see as we come up there, they do have the glass windshield on this particular. And one of my favorite parts of the R has to be that dash bright colors with the buttons that are illuminated very very brightly day or night so you can see what's actually lit some new features for 2023 this year are going to feature the additional wireless phone charger located down by the captain's right knee this is actually a handy little cubby and that means it's going to be able to keep your phone out of the sun as well, as well as wirely charged. So that's pretty exciting. And as you saw there, we do have some marine decking that they're putting on any boat with elevated helms this year. At the back of this boat, you can see that they do have the, what is aptly named the bow filler couch and maybe not so aptly named anymore because this is obviously in the stern and that couch is designed to go at any gate opening on the boat. Now we come over to the RTSB. The RT designates the bow rider. We've talked about these before. You guys have probably seen them. They're not new this year, but they are still extraordinary boats. Normal swing back look. I absolutely love these colors. This is the uh, white interior with the sunset red accents. But what really makes this boat, of course, something special is this step down bow rider application. Now the RX Sport here, this is always an exceptionally looking boat with the integrated headlights, the flat paneling. The RX Sport is truly the sportiest, I think, of all the Bennington boats, even better than the QX Sport. Uh, this particular boat features one of my favorite color schemes. As you can see, it does have the double Simrad screens. Uh, that's helped for both having a sonar and a GPS. This is our wonderful integrated thread coloring. That is such great detail on the Bennington. This thread color is really unique because you can change that thread color across a lot of different models to match what would be your exterior color. And so you can give it that one last little bit of customization. Another thing I noticed on this boat is it does have three cup holders on either side of the rear benches. That's pretty exciting because for some reason it has taken pontoon companies a long time to figure out that they need more cup holders. We'll go back to the glass windscreen. This is going to not be new for 2023, but a new option on the R models. Previously it was not available. And of course, Bennington is no stranger to Rockford Fosgate, but this year they have upped their game and brought on with it some new color changing speakers. These speakers look fantastic. This, of course, is going to be on the R series on an open arch, color changing on both sides, and they sound great. They do have some new speaker grills on some of the other boats. This one is on an L series, and they do have new tow kick lighting this year as well, much cleaner. One of the best things about Bennington, of course, is the customization and configuration of your colors with plenty of options inside and out. They have not come out with a new color here for several years, but I have heard some hints of a new flat black color, and we may be able to take a look at one of those boats outside here in just a few moments. But you can really get mixed and matched with exterior and interior colors, a great characteristic of Bennington. All right, we're back on the docks and I am on the Bennington 27 QX Fastback. This is the flagship of the Bennington lineup. The Q, this particular one has twin Yamaha 300 motors on it. I want to take some time to show you guys some of the walk around on this boat, so come with me as we check it out. 
And as I mentioned, this boat is powered with two of the Yamaha F300 XSB motors. This is the eight and a half foot beam version. Bennington does make a 10 foot beam version, which we'll see right over there in just a few minutes. But one of the coolest things on this boat is the Helmmaster EX system. Of course, you got dual controls, one for each motor with all of the neutral hold and trim assist and all the center engine functionality. And then of course, you've got the coveted Helmmaster joystick. If you haven't had a chance to play with one of these systems, that includes heading hold, course hold, track point, and a actual pattern steer system. It is really something special. Of course, this boat does have the dual console with the walkthrough windshield. And that is very unique, of course, for a Tri-Tune. And over here, this is a QX30 10-foot beam. Check out how wide this boat is. And this one, we saw a little glimpse of it earlier. We were running down the water at approximately 60 miles an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I was just holding onto the camera. This is powered by two of the Yamaha 425 XDO offshores. Again, this is a 10 foot wide. Also features the Yamaha Helmmaster system with dual controls and the joystick and a huge Garmin display. We hinted that we might see a new color and as you've got here our first look at the matte black finish. This is in a smooth panel along with a corrugated midnight black. This of course is on the R25 swingback has a cladded arch, the walkthrough windshield, another beautiful boat. That's the new color we kind of hinted at earlier. Can't wait to see this in actual production coming out to the showroom floors. This one is a little different. It's got the airplane switches on the dash as opposed to the push buttons. I like the push buttons, but those airplane switches just add a little something different. And finally, we're seeing this come out a little more. The glove boxes we've all been asking for for so long. They hinted at them last year, but some production quality issues kept it from being very prevalent. But now they've got them come out in full force. This is another one we hinted at earlier. This is the LX Sport. New version this year, a new concept. This is actually a 26 foot boat. Features the new color, that new matte black we were talking about. And now they have the integrated docking lights and nav lights into the front of the fencing. Something we had only previously seen on Q and RX models. As I mentioned, this is only a concept at this point. But whoa, what a beautiful boat. It does have that glass windscreen that has become so popular with Bennington. A new L Sport version of the interior. Looks very good, pardon my shadow there. And this one actually has the powered bimini top as well. Curved power bimini, pretty neat. So what I'm on right now is the R25 bow rider, and I kind of showed you one of these inside, but I have to take another look because this is truly a unique Tri-Tune. First, we'll start at the back, powered with the Yamaha VMAX Show 250. Can't get much of a better motor than that. This boat really is the best of both worlds. If you're unsure if you want to run about or a Tri-Tune, this boat has all the speeds you could want all the comfort and room you could want, but at the front, you still have the really neat appeal of a step down bow riding situation. So when you sit down from this vantage point, it reminds you of a ski boat where the captain is sitting about two feet above you. you can see everybody, co-captain as well, but you're down in the boat. And I've got to tell you firsthand, riding in one of these boats really is a fantastic experience. It's as smooth as any Tri-Tune I've ever been on. 
Again, this is the RTFB. That's the RT for the bow rider, FB for fastback. They do also make that bow rider in an L version. What you're looking at here is an L25 bow rider. Same concept with the hole and with the deck design. Of course, with this being an L versus the R, the furniture is a little bit different, but as you can tell, still the top quality luxury come to be known from Bennington. All right, turning over to the boats that don't cost $100,000 plus, this is what I would consider Bennington's entry level. This is the 22S stern radius, called the stern radius because the back couches are radial couches, just like they are in the front. This is probably, at uh, our dealership, the most popular selling floor plan because it does offer the most versatile seating. It has two captain's chairs and look at the quality on these captain's chairs this as i mentioned is the entry level boat this is the s series and these have fantastic simtex vinyl still on them this dash full gauge package all switches bluetooth and pandora ready rockford fosgate radio and of course the Yamaha controls for the Yamaha on the back. This, if you can believe it, is what they consider their entry level boat. And they do a fantastic job with it. This is one that we have at the shop quite a bit. This is the same boat we looked at, the, although this is an SX, so it's one step up from the S that we saw. As you can see, there's a little bit of a different styling on the furniture, a little more diamond pressing, some more color ribbons. This is also a 23-foot boat, but it's still in that popular stern radius with the rear couches. Really get a lot of seating on that boat. Now, my good buddy Mark, if you're watching, you've been asking about these. The slide tops have returned. Bennington actually brought these back in the 2022 model year. But they have maintained their popularity. They're still here for 2023. It is now available on an SX or an L series on 25 foot boats. You do have to power these boats with quite a bit because you're adding a lot of weight. This one over here is powered with a 250 Mercury. And of course, this one over here is powered with the 250 Yamaha show. So they put the nicer motor on the L series, go figure. And now going back to other new features for 2023, we have this new dinette addition to a swingback. We're on an L series right now, and this is a typical swingback with the dinette option offered. Now, Bennington has tried several different dinette options in their history. Some models have come and gone, but this one really makes a lot of sense. The first thing that somebody thinks of when they look at a dinette is how much seating they're losing. Well, if we look over here at this swingback, you have a two captain's chairs and the swing bench. So about three or four people can sit there comfortably. Here, we have your swing bench, as on the others, and then two seats here on the other side of the dinette table. So again, three or four, or maybe even five, if you have small children, people can sit here. So it's not really taking up as much space as originally would think to be. This is a very novel concept. I think if there's been one dinette situation that would work, it's gonna work here on this L series with the swing back. Now, one thing that people are often asking me whenever they're building the colors and building their new tritunes is, do I want the flat panel fence or do I want the corrugation? And this is the perfect side-by-side -side comparison. The red and white with flat panels on both and the ocean blue and white with corrugated panels on both. Personally, I prefer the corrugation panels because I believe that they hide the scratches and they hide dents a little better than the flat panel. But that flat panel is an extremely clean look. The water really glistens off of it. The sun looks really good off of it. So it's to each person can pick their poison. There is no difference in the strength or the rigidity of the aluminum fencing. It is purely cosmetic. My ticket has to go to the corrugation. 
Okay, and that'll do it for the sneak peek into the 2023 Bennington Dealer Show. I had to end the episode on my favorite of all the Bennington floor plans, and that's the swing bag. You know, there's not a lot of big changes in the next model year for Bennington, but there's a lot of small things they do to help out with rider convenience and just to give their boats a little more of a luxury feel. That's what keeps Bennington at the top and that pinnacle brand that everyone else needs to compare themselves to. And really, they just build a fantastic boat. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these new things as they get into production and how they're showing on the floor. I need to head back to Springfield. Got about a nine and a half hour drive ahead of me, and I got to make sure that Nick's okay because when I'm not there, sometimes things get a little out of hand. But thanks again for watching Almost Anglers Fishing. We'll catch you on the next episode.